Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 following, we were told that God created life. Yeah. Uh, told me I want the time of the Lord. So from the beginning, God created from man and his woman. And in Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, and it was made clear when God said, it was not only for the man to be alone, but he made an ass of the table. Today I have come to praise Jesus. That there is Friends, when you look at this verse, you realize that if the deliverance of your family is going to come, it is going to come, it is going to come through, and it is going to come through, and it is going to come through, and it is going to come through. Yeah, it's not going to be my friends, but God you want to claim and be silent that he is Christ and the Bible is and sent him for a long and sent him. Praise the name of the Lord. Take out the prayer. As once this is done, it's a good thing that this world is in the same in our family. It's a friend that we found that is not the one and the woman in the world at the end. It is not for you to decide, it is God to decide that that is the suitable spot for that man. I think from the beginning, we see all the worries about it. It's not for the beginning, the Lord has had this idea to find himself with him. And it is all in him who decides and determines how family must be run. Praise the name of the Lord. And he says to us in Genesis 2 24 that the end purpose for family was perfect unity. This verse says, For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. Listen, a man will leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and the two will become one. Leave, cleave, become one. In that order, you don't start from becoming one, then you cleave, and then you leave. Hello, Jesus Christ. Our Lord is to live, you believe, and become one flesh. And so for as long as you are going to live, you will not go to the Father. The Father is 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 the Father. So from the Father is the Father. The Father is the Father. The Father is the Father. God knew that was going to minister to you and oh, me through the family and so on. She was God the answer in the family. The Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18 that God is so good and it was not good for the man to be alone. We are told, I will be able to assume. He was speaking to us that God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. After God has created the family, He gives them divine instructions on how to live and survive. And those instructions included even what to depend on and how. He gave them food and gave them everything else they needed to survive as a family. He gave them His word. He spoke to them his expectation of family. And so for a family that is going to stand the time, for a family that is going to thrive amid these, these storms we hear about, it is a family that is consistently studying the word of God. And so for as long as we sideline the word of God, we will continue to pray and fast, but family will remain the issues. Because the word of God is absent from the midst of family. God wants us to depend on Him. God wants us to desire Him. God wants us to gather together as a family and read from His word and practice His word. This first family, when they failed at the word of God, the family also crumbled and sin entered mankind. It was one of those days when a guest who was uninvited came and visited Adam and Eve and made suggestions. And because Eve was not conversant with God's word, she compromised and friends, the rest is history. So every family that wants to remain stable, that wants to thrive, that wants to prosper and succeed, that family must put God in the center by upholding his word as revealed to us 
in spirit. And somebody clap for Jesus. Many families are failing because they have pushed God's word out of their way. Many people have turned to men and women of God. And they call them man and God. Many families are failing because they have turned to somebody speaking into their lives and that's it. They don't have to open the Bible for as long as somebody dresses man who stands up here either in a robe or in a suit or whichever outfit and says it is well with you, you already discovered the Lord has spoken to me and they jump up high and say it is done. No more working. I don't need to study. I need God has spoken and God says yes. And at this point you should tell people that if friends, and it is time for us, us you can do much to the one that one is saying that woman is too beautiful for the husband to see those are wise in, in the, the presence of God that is the woman who is suitable for that man. Amen. So when us when you don't see them fit, when you wake up, the God is the one of God to be for them. So, because God had this idea, which is my best life and idea, he went ahead and formed his wife for Adam to draw and presented the wife to Adam. And it's time he fell out and Adam put his hand out at the same time. And he was very grateful to him and God. And we failed the institution of family. And we will cry to the government, we will cry to the parliamentarians, and they will only throw tears and microphone stands at each other. Nothing will be done. Why? Because family is God's, it's, a, it's an issue of God. And so for anyone who wants a solution, they must turn to God. Hallelujah. Number three, friends. Why Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior of family is because salvation is in no one else but Jesus Christ himself. What if God declares to us? In Acts chapter 4 verse 12 that there is no other name that has been given to man by which we shall be saved except the name of who? Jesus Christ. In his words, Jesus Christ, John 14, 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And so we can have many suggestions on how to pray. Standing, sitting, whispering, meditating, shouting, whatever. Whatever makes you comfortable, you can have suggestions on that. You can decide whether you'll be baptized by immersion or sprinkling, but when it comes to matters of salvation, there is no other way but Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. And so don't be deceived that you will be saved by simply coming every Sunday and sitting in the chapel. Don't be deceived that you will be saved by simply coming and giving in offerings. Salvation is in no one else but Jesus Christ. And so if families are going to be restored, if our families are going to enjoy the purposes of God as designed by God, we must accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Personally. Personally. Oh, friends, I want to challenge us. That if there are people in your family that do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray for them. Pray for them. Encourage them. Be a witness to them. And don't give up. Don't get tired. About two months ago, at St. Stephen's Church, Kisuru, somebody came and preached and they invited me to come and make the altar call. In that second service, when I made the altar call, I saw a woman stand up and walk towards the altar, and she came walking slowly. She was an elderly woman, not very old, about 54 years, no, 57 years, and she walked and walked and walked. When she got closer, I realized that this was my own mother. I had been praying for her for many years. That day it was such a job. You could be here and your family members have rubbish this whole idea of Jesus Christ and you're giving up. They just can't understand you when you wake up to pray. They don't For this reason, this man telling his father and mother and the right to his wife, wife, wife and you will become salvation. one is flesh. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So if you wish in your family, family you will be fixed. It has to be Jesus in the man, so the woman, the feet of Jesus, every person can tell you a situation for 
his family, they must Jesus to say the praise God for the Lord. Because family is not it is his idea. Family is not his idea. This is the mass of our family is not an idea. But the family is an idea of God. John chapter 1, verse 1, verse number 2. It was God who determines, continues to determine the way he gave family should come and survive of God. Friends, each one of our members in our families, young, old, middle-aged, qualifies to be a child of God as long as they accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. If I had other suggestions, I would give them to you, but the only suggestion, the only way is Jesus Christ. And I, I encourage you to bring Jesus Christ into the picture of your family and the rest will be history. Point number four, friends. Families are important in extending God's kingdom. Why Jesus is in the business of saving and restoring families is because families participate in extending God's kingdom. From the very beginning, God has in many cases worked through families. I am reminded of the man Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 3, when God spoke to him and said, Arise. Leave this land, go to a land, I will show you, I will prosper you, I will bless you, and you will become many nations. You will become a big nation. God speaking to Abraham, and Abraham got his wife Sarah and the cousin Lord, and they went and flew the family of Abraham. Today we can post and say we are children of Abraham. So Abraham is a patriarch, he is our forefather. Praise the name of the Lord. Families are important in extending God's kingdom because in the family, children can easily be instructed on how to honor God. You can teach children in family with ease. Let me tell you, even when my dad was not born again, he wanted me to God. How? Every Sunday morning, it was a private, it was a master. You know, my father is a police officer. So he would say every Sunday, you go to church. You don't have to say, I'm sick or what. It is just signing. And when you come back, you account for what happened. The preacher, the reading, the topic. And so every Sunday was supposed to be there and listen to the preacher and the topic and the readings come back and tell him, hey, daddy, this is what we read, this is what we said. And then, but later on, we lunch and meet him. So I go and sit outside and I listen. The preacher says his name, the preacher, and I hear him say, uh, today I'm going to talk to you about Jesus Christ, what I said in the family say, uh -huh. and we are going to focus on Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and finish. I'm going to pray for the Lord. <laughs> when Daddy comes and asks, ah, tell me what happened in the church. I am very clear, I have been very sharp. The preacher was so and so from Kisugu, I uh, talked on this and this. Ah, that preacher is very good. That preacher is good, say. that preacher is this, and uh, she can come. But even when I did that, time came and I reflected on that spoken word. Why? Because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. I kept on reflecting on that word and slowly but steadily my heart was yielded to Jesus Christ. I can tell you, because of my family and the role my father played, today each one of you is seated and I am not standing here to preach. Family is very important. You can work in the aspect of family. So when God was creating a commission to Adam and Eve, he saw the reason why you are not as a family. If you want to raise a marriage, go back to that your creator. If you want anything to be restored in your household, things that are going a mess in God, Jesus, God has given us instructions that He gives to Adam and Eve. And if we, because God is not just interested in numbers. I keep challenging people that if God was up to numbers, then they should have killed the whole of Sodom and Gomorrah. They should have finished the people in the time of power. It's not about numbers. It's about the quality of people. He says, go make disciples of all nations. And so for each one of us, if you are born again and you are the only one in that family, or yes, you are a child. In your hostel, in your home, you are the only one who is born again. In your post, it might be you who are born with the disciple of Jesus Christ. His word to you this morning is that a Messiah is also to be my disciple. That is the world. Your president was there about us to point people to Jesus 
Jesus Christ, to be a witness wherever God plans for you. And this morning, we are saying, you're not in your fam family randomly. You're not there by mistake. God has planned for you in the let us stop complaining about the imperfections of your family. Stop desiring and admiring other people's families. Stop wishing your child so as your father or mother and begin the business of witnessing to the people in your family. Somebody clap for Jesus. That is your goal. That is my goal. That is the way the joy is just six months. I must ask him to pray. And so he looks at me and smiles, and I say, Amen. <laughs> Hello? I say, Amen. But that is how it started for Joshua. I will just say, Amen. Later on, he started praying, Ta 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 Friends, daddy, mommy, and she. Very soon you will pray for this country. Praise the Lord. So if there is hope for the family, that hope is in Jesus Christ. Because that is his business, that is his idea. And that is why in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 6 to 9, we are told to instruct people in our households in the word of God. Whether it is sleeping time or waking up time or walking around, whether it's putting up wall hangings, everything else in our families and in our households, in this case, in our rooms of residence, everything else must show that this family belongs to Jesus. And that is why this is different from the theater of Bonita. Because when you come in here and you see a cross, you see a cross table and you see things are clear, it will be this is judge. Your room must be clear to whoever visits that this room, the church must here must be Christians. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is what is calling us to do with our families. It is in the family that we are able to discern the gifts of different children and different people. And so this morning, even as I come to the close, I want to encourage us that our God is a dependable God. We can trust Him with our lives. If God promises, he will fulfill. Because history has it that everything that he promised, he has fulfilled. I must told us that when he begins something, he is faithful that he will bring it to accomplishment. There is no way he will begin family way back in Genesis only to abandon it in the 21st century. No way. God will carry us to the very end. Oh yes, when we come to the cross, family will be victorious. Jesus will be Lord and Savior. Every tongue will confess he is Lord. Every knee will bow because he is Lord. Our Amen. God is believable. Number three, salvation and is the door else but Jesus Christ. It is only by it is only obvious in his self-explanatory that we will make Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior of the family. Most people do not have options. Yes, we can disagree on what form of the things we will tell you. We can disagree on that. We can disagree on how to pray, whether it's quietly, so whether it's gentle. We can have all forms of prayer, but in terms of salvation, there is only one way. I want to encourage John chapter to trust God in the story of our family. Whoever yes, we have to do this. Maybe our fathers were never better, and they started learning how to parental. When it comes to when it comes to salvation, we don't have all the other things. We don't have other ways. Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am Jesus Christ. He loves it. He says, He says, He says, No one comes to the Father in exchange through me. So, if we are saving salvation for the family, friends, I want to talk to a young man and a young woman who is seated here. That is why I call this. If you are suffering from a family where I must come up with his word and get a bad from you, and yes, you must come up with his message to God. What does he have to say regarding your marriage? If God says you must be pure, God does not lie. You must be pure, and there is no other choice. And that is why I say to you that Joshua came nine months and 11 days later. Because we are in a generation. 
information that is uh, is not sure. It's not very sure. You remember in Genesis when the word of God was compromised, done, the devil came and asked, "Did really God say? Uh, did really did God say?" And in this generation, that question is what? Did God really see, say it must be man and woman? Did really God say that? Did God really say you must be faithful and uh, to just one? Did God say no, God must be unfair? Did God really say until death do us part? No, God, God, God be serious. How can I be this thing until death? Did God, you are not fair. Yes, we are being faced with those questions, but I want to tell you, a man or woman who is upholding the word of God, a man or woman who has accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, will be able to overcome no matter what. And so I want to encourage us to personally accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. I want to encourage you, if you are seated here and maybe you are just lamenting about the imperfections in your family, all the failures and mistakes, you are only pointing out the things your father did you, your mother did you, your grandfather did you, you are pointing out things that are mistakes. This morning, you can choose to ask Jesus to come and be in charge, both of your life and of your family. Oh, I want to give you an opportunity. This morning, maybe you are desperate, you are desperate. I've heard people who say I don't want to get married because I got a bad example of a family. This morning that can change. I was one of those because we are nine children, four mothers, one man. And I grew up with a stepmother and I can tell you it was not funny. But when I made the choice to accept Jesus Christ, ah, I am having Hare, I am in the business. It's Jesus who makes the difference. I want to encourage you if you're such a person and you want Jesus to change you, to change your family. Make a choice. This morning I'm only going to ask you to put up your hand where you are and after this service I'll wait for you at the vestry. I'm praying for you. Anybody who wants to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. The issues of Uganda will not be sorted until Jesus is given a picture. Issues of the family cannot be settled until Jesus is the ruler of your heart. If you're here and you want to make that decision, please put up your hands straight so I can see you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Anybody else? Yes, there's another hand, there's another hand there. Thank you. Love for them, love for them. Thank you very much. Those of you that have put up your hands, thank you, God bless you. I can see you over there. After this service, I'll wait for you out there and we'll pray together. Please come, please come. I request that one of the ushers can come and join me and we see how we continue to decide this. Let us pray. Lord, thank you very much this morning that you have a plan for every person in this place. Each one of us comes from a certain family. We have had our issues, but Lord, we have received encouragement that you are the Lord and the Savior of the family. And so I want to give to you families that are represented in this place. Lord, will you come and divinely intervene and make history and change situations and turn hopeless situations into hopeful situations. If there is anybody here, oh God, that is searching for a wife or a husband, Lord, I pray that you will guide them through your work to not make a mistake, but take the right choice, make the right decision. Lord, I pray for families, for husbands and wives who are here, and things are not going well in their marriages. They are even regretting why they ever got married to that person. Lord, I pray that you will breathe life one more time in those families. Lord, I ask that you come and reign. Come and reign and rule and live that the joy of salvation will be experienced in family and that your name will be glorified. Lord, I pray.
pray that you will turn to the right help, will turn to your one, will turn to you for solutions. Yes, many times we have gone astray. We have gone to Casablanca to look for wives and men. We have gone to Angelo and Night Labs. We have forsaken the body of believers. Today, Lord, we ask that you lead us and guide us to the right places so that we will get the right choices and have the right families and that your name will be glorified. Oh, thank you for speaking to us. And we pray all this in the name of our Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much, Jared. Those who have put up your hands, please meet us.